pretty much New Year's Eve is kicking my trash. I went to the grocery store and was with there with Y Guy, and every New Year's Eve we get um, crab legs and play cards and stuff like that. So I'm in the grocery store today and standing there like thinking like it's my first year without Clint you know that's hard I thought like Christmas would have been the worst it's like oh uh, New Year's Eve is kicking my trash hard to have like a person you always take care of and do everything for it. I miss that and it's hard to have them gone and then when I'm not doing good right now then it just makes me like think like I don't Like, he's not here to take care of me when I'm sad. <laughs> Which super sucks. It's like you give, as a caregiver, like you give and give and give and... I can't, and I bought a whole freaking load of tissues on Amazon and I can't find them. So, freaking roll of toilet paper in my bed with me. Stinking, stinking. So I'm just having a pity party and I invited you. Are you so glad? <laughs> uh, anyway. So there I was, the Smith's grocery store. And I'm standing there getting the crab legs and it just like hit me and I was like no I did smoky eyes today <laughs> don't cry with smoky eye makeup <laughs> and uh so then I was just like oh my gosh like I don't even I hardly ever go to the grocery store I I, I mooch off my parents <laughs> Like, oh great, you have food? Sweet, we'll just eat that. Um, so today I'm like, okay, I'm gonna buy stuff. Then I'm standing there and I'm like, I'm not even hungry. I don't even wanna eat, let alone think of what to make to eat. Anyway. Most days I do awesome, so must have been like my turn today, which, and I picked Gunner up from a friend's house, and I'm just right after Smith's, and then um, turned to have a church CD, and so I just like turned it up full blast, and Cried in the car on the way home, and my guy's like, "What can I do for you, Mom? Gunner, I love you, Mom." And I think if I, they learn anything, you know, is to choose the right, and even though it's hard, it brings like peace and comfort. And days aren't perfect, you know. Some days are easier than others, and. That's okay to cry, and it's okay to have a meltdown, and it's okay, because we loved him, right? And how lucky we are that, you know, I told him the other day, you know, I'm like, how lucky are we that we have a daddy that loved us so much and was such an example, an amazing hero, and 
I mean, there's so many kids who have a dad that just leaves, you know, and they don't know why, and he's gone, and, you know, not a good dad, so they're super lucky, you know, they got a good one, but anyway, grief sucks, but I just got down on my knees prayed for some comfort and strength so I can make it through this night and not have to sit in my room and cry. I want to like be able to make memories and be there and have be emotionally like present for my kids and uh, so anyway here's hoping I can have a happy new year. Hopefully mind. It will be good. It's okay to have a meltdown. It's okay to cry. So that's just what I'm doing. So I'm okay. Have a good night. And if you have a boyfriend or a husband or a wife, kiss them a ton. Because you're so lucky that they're still here. Even though they might drive you crazy sometimes, you'd miss them if they were gone. If they were good. A good person. So, anyway.